All right, welcome back after that suicide bomber. And uh, what is the story behind the suicide bomber? Uh, suicide bomber, I think, uh, you know, that's just the play on the idea that you come over to, you know, a place like Pakistan and, like, you got people that blow themselves up and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But, you know, my whole concept, the whole concept behind that song is I'm blowing up in the rap game. Mm hmm not taken to be literal. Okay. I'm blowing up in the rap game okay. and it's like a suicide bomber. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. it's kind of a little controversial. Uh -huh. And I talk about how the stuff that I'm doing is getting me bigger and bigger and bigger until the point where I'm just exploding. And, right. you know, that's it. It's just a, it's a play on the metaphor. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's been like more than how many years now? Ten years. Yeah, like, but ten, ten years. Ten years, like yeah. straight. Ten years straight. Probably the first four years is just me just trying to develop who I am. And then after that, it was just kind of like, okay, I want to do this. Medical school slowed me down a little bit, mm -hmm. but then the Discovery Channel did a documentary on me, so that revitalized a lot of buzz for me, mm -hmm. and it just kept going from there. They wanted me to do an album. I did my first album, Chapter One, The Prince Who Would Be King. It's on iTunes, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of continued from there, and my fan base grew to the point where it was like, you know, was me stopping, because what I'm doing in the hip-hop game is drastically different from every single hip-hop artist right now, so for me to, like give up is taking a piece of the pie out of hip-hop. I feel mm. like I have an important ingredient to what hip-hop is. All right. That's great. Um, Lazarus, um, what I actually see, your little bit of info regarding uh, what you have been through, actually, Detroit-based actually recording artist Lazarus. That's actually the information present on your um, official website, if I say, LazarusStory.com. Sure. All right. Yeah. And um, a lot of actually uh, names which I see, and... Um, but basically, what I can, you know, totally get that, you, are you actually inspired from some specific artists, like old, old rappers or something? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm inspired by the old school rappers that I used to listen to, man, like uh, like Nas, like mm -hmm. Talib Kweli, like Gangstar, N.W.A., Wu-Tang mm -hmm. Clan, specifically the rappers that have meaning in their mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. not this hokey pokey stuff that you hear coming out. The songs, some of the songs out right now in the mainstream, they got nice beats, but man, these guys don't know how to rap, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can rap, meaning they can put rhymes together, but it's not, it's, it doesn't do anything to me as far as uplifting me in any way or make it. It doesn't have to be uplifting, but it doesn't do anything to me. Mm -hmm. The words don't. You could put any person on the same beat, it will sound the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, there's certain artists, when you listen to Tupac, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what beat he's on, you're listening to the artist. Exactly. See, that's what you got. You got to override the beat. Don't mm -hmm. let the beat make the song. Let the artist make the song. Mm -hmm. I totally follow that, and I will actually try to follow that more. <laughs> um, Lazarus, we got to actually go towards a very short break. Yeah. And uh, in the meanwhile, we you can have a bite of the pizza, man. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you know, it's like everybody got something to get them to that next level. Fantastic, actually. Um, uh, I totally loved, man. I totally loved that, uh, you know, fusion between mm -hmm. uh, late Mustafa Ali Khan and the Lazarus thing, man. And wait till you see the video. You're gonna see the transition from American clothing. I wear shawal kameez as the Urdu, Urdu verse of the song. Don't tell me, man. You did that. Well, maybe. I will see you in the video. Comes out. <laughs> All right. Uh, Streets of Fendi, baby. <laughs> Streets of Fendi. <laughs> Streets of Fendi. Uh, Lazarus originally from Pakistan. Where are you from, actually? Your, your parents? My parents. And my mom's from. My mother is from Karachi. My father is from Sargola. Mm -hmm. From the Gao. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you were actually born in uh, Detroit. I was born in Detroit. Okay, okay. Sinai Grace Hospital, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, d when, we d when we talk about specifically Detroit, Michigan, yeah. there's a lot of, you know, musical history. Yeah. Gospel and hip-hop. Motown, yep. Uh, a lot, a lot of actually musical history. Yeah. So uh, did you actually get a lot of inspiration from that as well? Or just, just mm -hmm. a typical hip-hop or maybe specifically one genre? Detroit is where I'm from. I love where I'm from. As far as my inspirations are concerned, yeah, of course, there's Detroit rappers that inspired me, like Eminem and Royce the Five Nines. Like, even more so than just hip-hop, I'm inspired by all sorts of music. I'm inspired by I'm inspired by Punjabi music. You know, I'm inspired by reggae music, old soul music, all that stuff, man. So all that stuff inspires um, and makes me who I am. My whole purpose in this rap game is to keep it real. Because, you know, you have so many artists, and I think a lot of the what people want to hear, mm -hmm. or supposedly want to hear, is about girls, cars, and jewelry, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
and that's what's considered hardcore, even mm -hmm. though it has no meaning to it at all, mm -hmm. and there's nothing hardcore about it because mm -hmm. it's all fake anyway, because those people that rap about those things don't even live that life. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like I'm a doctor, so that's people look down on the fact that a doctor's a rapper, but you know what? I'm going to make you respect it. I'm going to make you understand that that is what's hardcore. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep, totally. So, that's what that's my purpose, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Um, well, let me actually thank uh, Lazarus. Um, you know his friends are actually over here. Um, he left actually live channels uh, just to be here today. That's right. And uh, I totally respect actually going out to you, Lazarus, and to your friends out here. And uh, it's like uh, um, a total uh, you know great opportunity to meet you today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the first time actually you know uh, meeting you face to face. Right. Right. Lazarus, um, you know, I, I would be actually, I want to have a couple of more minutes of your time, yeah. if you don't mind. Um, you know, uh, talking about some of your more music, actually, uh, since we are here uh, for, for the Lazarus story and the mixtape. You got me here. Take advantage. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Uh -huh. but, um, Shout out to FM 100, man. We keeping it real. This is the real radio station of Pakistan right here, baby. All right. Man, it's, it's like um, it's like this. Um, as soon as actually he, he took off, you know, uh, as soon as he took off, man, on the mic, it was like no stop and no going back. No going back, man. Why am I here? I'm not going to be here and clown around. <laughs> I might clown around, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah. All right. There yeah, we go. Uh, Lazarus, there are like um, loads of actually people, uh, especially the new uh, the rappers, especially if I uh, come across with a lot of uh, young rappers from Islam, Bob. Yeah. And uh, a couple of them I actually heard, but, you know, they actually sound that sort of like a very typical, uh -huh. um, that Eminem, uh -huh. Touch, Plus... The, right, the, right. the Dr. Dre uh -huh, and, you know, uh -huh. a lot of touch. But uh, when it comes to you, I, I heard you right now live. Um, so it was like um, totally your way. Right. Um, like I said, you know, uh, rapping is a, it's a sport, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, just like any sport, you got to come in there to conquer. As far as uh, what I'm doing is concerned, you know, I represent me, mm -hmm. you know. I'm not here to speak on any other artist but me. What I'm here to do is command and conquer. So if somebody else is trying to command and conquer, they have to see me. Mm -hmm. I copy that. And uh, I hope that everybody copies that, too. Uh, Jay-Z, actually, from Slava, he says, Welcome to the guy next to you. And uh, how you doing, man? Uh, sound good? And, uh, well, he likes, actually, the party and everything going on. Uh, I got, actually, Shimbrace. And uh, he gives a shout-out to you. And he goes, like, Whoa, it's great listening to Cuckoo. Yeah. Which you mentioned, you know, yeah, while yeah. you were talking about it. Uh -huh. And uh, thumbs I'm up, Cuckoo. I'm crazy. <laughs> actually, uh, like, when I say I work at the hospital, I'm actually not working in a hospital. But I'm in a psych ward as a patient. Okay. <laughs> I'm cuckoo. <laughs> Man, uh, it's, it's, it's like um, uh, you might be actually a little bit of clown for, for the patients uh, sometimes or something, like, you know, to make them laugh or something. Do you do that? Um... No, I'm a serious doctor. Okay, man. serious doctor, man. Deep down, serious doctor by profession. Uh, uh, this is going out to actually Lazarus. Uh, it's great listening, and uh, thumbs up for him. Rock up the whole world uh, to the park, uh, to the park passion, man. And uh, just do it and uh, keep that concept uh, exploding, bro. And make sure you avoid those secret societies in U.S. that are running uh, mainstream music and media. You know what I'm um, saying. Yeah, but you know what? I'm bigger than that because, you know, I'm my own man. I'm an unsigned artist. Name one unsigned Pakistani or Desi artist that just hit one million hits on YouTube, baby. That's what I'm talking one about. One million. One million actually um, you actually clicks on your video on yeah, YouTube.com. Yeah, yeah. And that's the video off? Let the game know. Let the game know. Um, you guys can actually check it out on the YouTube, Lazarus, and uh, give it a hyphen. Let the game know, and uh, you're going to let yourself know that over one million actually clicks on YouTube. One million hits on YouTube. Wow, man. That's uh, that's how much? Like in three months or something? The video's been out for a couple of years, but the video really took off when uh, Og and MTV and all these stations started playing it like crazy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, and my documentary played on Geo today, so... Shout out to Pakistan. I love you guys, man. I mean, you guys are showing me so much love. I'm just sick and fed up of all the haters talking bad, saying bad things, the media saying bad things about Pakistan. It's a lovely country, man. Exactly. Beautiful yes. country. 
Beautiful country with some lot of beautiful actually food right here. <laughs> yeah, beautiful women too. <laughs> All right, uh, Lazarus. Um, uh, right now, uh, I just gotta go towards a very short break. But after this, I'm gonna be actually taking off with one more track of yours. Okay. Um, and uh, that's gonna be your favorite one. Which one do you want me to play? Actually, just after Count coming back from the break. We already did drug your choice, right? Yeah, we did. All right, man. Let's hit him up with let the game know. Let's take it back, man. Uh, let the game know. All right. After this break, I'm gonna be actually. Actually, uh, letting you know what the game, uh, let the game know. And uh, Lazarus is live in the studios of 100 FM. My name is Boyd. Uh, this is the Mo Monday Movie Night Show, but not the same, actually. So you guys have to stick around.